So I've spent the better part of the last hour and a half uh, managing, updating, and uh, configuring the NeverSync filter blade loop filter into uh, my liking in game and then uh, testing it and seeing, uh, seeing if I, I like the way it worked. So I've got it to a point where I like it and uh, I'm gonna share uh, how I would go about doing this. So this is, uh, first thing I need to go to filterblade.xyz. I'm already logged in, so it's gonna take me right to this site. And first thing you need to be aware of is it's gonna automatically take you to the PoE one. You need to click this drop down arrow and go to PoE two. Once you're in PoE two, you're gonna go to create new filter. I already have one, we'll come back to that in a second. Uh, based on never sync. Okay, so I can take this slider and this is the base of the filter. So when you when you do this, this is how it starts. I generally start all mine then semi strict Then after semi strict. And you can see here, there's basically nothing hidden. But if I go up to like Uv, Uber strict plus, you can see like there's tons of stuff that are crossed out. They're no longer visible. And then you'll go through and you can customize and simulate loot to see how your filter is functioning. That being said, I already have mine done. So we're coming back over here, load. I'm gonna show the changes I made here. So I go over to customize, nothing with currency, nothing with any of this stuff here. I did make sure chancing bases were what I wanted them to be. Heavy belt, sapphire ring, stellar amulet, perfect. Uh, runes, I went ahead and I turned off tier four runes, which are body, mind, rebirth, stone, and vision. No need for those. If I need them at some point in time, I can just turn it back on. I think I have like 50 of each. Gems, turned off all the uh, the end game gems, except for t uh, level 19 and 20. I don't need anything else right now. I have a huge stockpile of them. If I need more, come back in here, turn them on. I did leave the ones that they campaign on. Uh, if I need to, I can turn those off. But for now, this will suffice. Gold. Uh, I just made it so they're all gold. Very straightforward. Specific base types. This is the most important rule of everything here. This is what I made the previous video about, is highlighting and emphasizing the bases that you want. So these are the bases that I'm hunting for. These are the ones that are in the crafting video. These are the ones that my character uses. These are the ones that I want. I want to see them, I want them to be visible, I want them to be basically the only thing I'm really looking at. Not completely, but almost. Um, as you can see here, I turned off everything in the hide, armor, and weapon types. That includes hybrid evasion energy shield bases, as well as quarterstaffs. But this rule up here overrides this rule right here. And as a result, these that I have visible will still show up. I don't want to see anything else. I have multiple deaths in the game from, you know, uh, from going around and then accidentally clicking on loot when I'm trying to click on a monster because there's too much on the screen. I need the clutter reduced even further than what it was. I wanted to look very clean and very crisp, and it does now. Uh, I went in, I turned off, or I made some adjustments to end game visibility. I basically turned all these off. I just, I, I don't want to see them. The only thing that I left on was um, I left on the. No, where is it? I might have to turn these off. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure how those work. So, so there's some stuff I'll still have to adjust. But coming down here to optional rule, where did it just go? It just jumped me somewhere. Oh, here we go. Um, optional rules. I, I turned off crafting wands. I don't craft wands. I don't need it. I left all rings, amulets, and belts on. Those I tend to craft, and they don't drop too much. So, um, yeah, I left those on. Uh, that being said, I left one salvageable thing on because armor scraps tend to sell okay if you get them in enough bulk. I generally, I probably don't even need to do this, but it's on right now. If it gets annoying, I'll turn it off. Um, that's about it. I left almost everything else alone. Well, I, I mean, I made 68 changes, so it's a considerable amount, but that's what I would, the two that need to be like really focused on is this right here, as this is the rule that allows you to select what you're looking for. And this right here turns off the clutter. So, uh, it's already done, but if you wanted to save it, you'd go like, uh, you click configure 
and you're gonna name it. Uh, we're gonna update it 1.4. Mine's already updated, but just for the sake of showing, you go to sync and download, and then if you want to download to your PC and manually put it in, you do save and download. If you want it to upload to PoE's website, then you're gonna click this right here, save and sync, and it saves and sync. This is uh, this should be 1.4 is what I have this labeled as. Now, if I go over here into game, it should be available almost instantaneously. And I'm on 1.2, so there we go, 1.4. So it is now updated. If I switch to the other one or none, uh, I would save it just to go back. And now it is definitely on. And it tells me when I updated last, last updated uh, January 24th, and that's their server time. So, alrighty. Now, just to show off what it looks like with a single map. All right, so I'm gonna show off the loot filter now, and I have a tier 15, increased quantity, rarity, and rare monsters. This is a pretty nice uh, map right here. It has a uh, with Breach and Delirium on it. We're gonna go ahead and get this going here. This is actually my second time doing this. The first time I died due to an on-death effect, like 35 seconds into the map, which is awesome. So I start had to start over. Oh my gosh. Wait, there's oh, two rare monsters up front. Where is the Mirror of Delirium? What is going on? Stuff is chasing me. There it is. You will die alone and there's an example right there. Of, as I said, I still I left all jewelry on, uh, but I turned off. Uh, everything else and you can see there's a ton of stuff and maybe not a ton but there's stuff on the ground it's just not visible some gold most of the stuff dropping is gold and that's about it uh, amulets rings I'll probably have to turn some stuff off actually there's some some of them I don't even want to see those I'll have to it takes a bit to configure this to a point where you really like what you have so I don't think there's anything over there, and I'll lose delirium time, so... I'm not overly fast here, but... Nice. A very visible exalted orb. I think I'd like them to be a bit more yellow. Not that that really matters. There we go, nice visible tier 15 waystone. I'll take all of that there. Nothing crazy. Base, gold ring, nice. There certainly are a lot of monsters in here. Oh my goodness. Ooh, Orb of Annulment. Nice. I haven't seen a Divine Orb in a couple days. Gotta clear out those ranged monsters. Thing. It's huge. It's a big spider. There's another rare up here. No idea if that's good or not. I know what that is. Lots of armor scraps. I can probably turn those superior armors off. I'm getting enough of them. It's a lot of rune shards. Another jacket for crafting. One of my dogs is whacking a bell to go outside. 
even though it's not their bedtime yet. Nice. Ooh, gem cutter is very nice. Another rare. There's so much stuff firing range damage at me. It's actually hard to pinpoint it all. This is so much easier to see what's going on like this. Some of the obscuring terrain is still annoying. They dealt with a lot of it. It is definitely a lot better since that patch, but there's definitely some still there. Not only pick up like transmutations and augmentations, only if like I kill a rare and there's other stuff around it, then I'll stop. Or if it's just conveniently on the way. It's not something I focus on. Same thing for like glacial runes and stuff like that. It's just as I see them. If they're in a convenient spot, I don't go out of my way for them. Should be a breach in here somewhere if we can find it. Well, I'm going to find it. That's not when I find it, I should say. stuff right here. I have to be careful, actually. Oh my gosh. Okay. Still going strong for the moment. Nice. Found a staff. My inventory, unfortunately, is full. I'll probably come back for it. Whoop, that, you get out of the way of that. There we go, found an essence. All right, the breach is right over here. Gosh, so many monsters. They're still shooting at me. All right, here we go. Let's get this breach going. Do I not have enough room for breach splinters? Probably not. So we're going to just take our uh, self back in here, deposit some loot real fast, which is mostly going to be our bases. And uh, you know what? Identify first. Probably one of the niftiest tricks I've uh, found out. A comment earlier today, somebody mentioned that, uh, that if you hold control and click on Doriani, he'll automatically identify all your stuff. Um, yeah, that's super convenient. So just thought I'd repeat the information. Um, that should be enough to hold the rest of what's seen here. So let's go ahead and gather the rest of the loot real fast. But yeah, that's that. That's about it, actually. It's just, uh, it, it makes everything so much easier to look at. I'm gonna have to go through the jewelry. There's still too much uh, of that. It's not, there's not like there's an abundant amount dropping, but 
and more than I want to see still. So, like amber amulets are amber amulets are okay, but I'm not picking that up. Uh, so yeah, I'm not to specify base types, but. Man, one monster dropped that much AOE right there. That's crazy. Uh, we're going to get the staff in here. All right. I don't know why I'm going after this. All right. That's it there. Well, I, I just wanted to share the uh, the Never Sync and Slash uh, Filter Blade are up to date and functioning. If you have not, you should go reconfigure your loot filter, make that work for you. It makes it easier to uh, play the game as well, much more visual appealing, and uh, makes you move faster through the maps. Uh, there's not much as much uh, visual distraction once you narrow your loot filter down. And since you're able to do so now, you definitely should take advantage. Uh, they do a gr both uh, Never Sync and uh, Filter Blade do a great job for the community, and uh, definitely appreciate their work. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching.